The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Eleanor Roosevelt, US First Lady, Diplomat, Human Rights Activist. So with her inspiration quote of dreams, I started the celebration of World Dream Day 2021. So the objective and the aim of this celebration is to inspire youth and individuals for creativity, innovation, and life achievements. So let's celebrate the day with a discussion uh, how we can uh, pursue our dreams in our lives. So we have a special speaker today as a corporate leader with all-rounded disciplines in business and academic sector. So let me introduce the speaker's profile today. Dr. Triva Mendis. Dr. Triva Mendis is a strategist, management consultant, banker, and academic. He's the head of academic affairs and a member of board of study of Postgraduate Institute of Management, PIM, Sri Jayawardenepur University, Sri Lanka. He serves as an external consultant for United Nations on International Trade and Asian Development Bank, ADB. And he has a very comprehensive uh, uh, profile, right, with local and uh, overseas initiatives and many participants in worldwide in business and academic sector. So I will go with his profile and his uh, achievements little by little while we start with our discussion. Welcome to you, Real Life TV, Dr. Trivers Mendes. Yes, good evening, Jasmine. First of all, thank you very much for inviting me for this interview. Uh, to give my views and to inspire youth for the World Youth Day 2021. Before we start with this celebration of the World Dream Day 2021, as a person who has achieved your career and life goals as a professional, so I want to ask, what is a dream? Yes, now, uh, when it comes to, you know, the term called dream that has many jargons and many dimensions. One is that from the academic perspective, we call it as a vision. Where do you want to be in your life in time to come? Right, a future aspiration of a person. But when it comes to the business world or the entrepreneurship, the jargon or the terminology used for this is the purpose. Now, if you really analyze the people like Mark Zuckerberg, who has introduced Facebook, they say the purpose of life, significance of the purpose. Then also, uh, certain people term this or use this as a dream. So whatever the jargon, whatever the term, whatever the terminology that you use, whatever said and done, the dream has to be achieved. And dream is some kind of a, uh, you know, something that is in your mind to be achieved in time to come with so much of effort. So this is my very short answer for your question. So if you go start extra step beyond that, so share your views and beliefs in pursue dreams in life. Yes, personally, I feel that everyone, especially the youth, should have a dream. They should achieve something in their, you know, during their life. As an example, I can give you, I can quote so many, uh, you know, real life cases. The first I will start with Abraham Lincoln from the Esther era. Abraham Lincoln was living in a log cabin in America. He was so poor and he stopped schooling at the age of 16. And then he started to ride a bike, push bike, and then deliver, distribute newspapers. But he had a dream. One day I would become the president of the United States of America. Just imagine Jasmine now, a poor boy without proper education, living in a log cabin, having a dream of becoming the president of United States of America. I will explain the gravity of this dream, because if you really analyze the uh, two systems in the world, right, the most difficult uh, positions to be achieved is to become the president of the 
United States of America and to become the Pope. Because the structure has been designed in such a way that you have to have the sheer luck at the right time with the right people and with all, you know, right, 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 and so on. So with so many barriers in life, Abraham Lincoln had a dream. I'll be the president of the United States of America. And he was working towards that tirelessly, continuously. And he lost 13 elections. He went to the university to get qualified. And after overcoming so many barriers, obstacles, you know, so many issues in life, he became the president of the United States of America. Even today, after about 100 years, 120 years, we consider him as one of the best five American presidents that America has ever produced, along with George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, uh, Frank, uh, Franklin Roosevelt, uh, Ronald Reagan, and uh, Harry S. Truman. So this is a shining example. If, if you permit me to quote another example, two boys with the fervent intention of earning a little bit of pocket money, started to sell hot dogs during the rush hour in New York. So they are intention, but they had a dream. One day we will make this a global company. And today it's McDonald's. So even M, the value of M, the brand value of M alone is about $75 billion, little smaller than Sri Lankan GDP. So these are some of the real life examples I can give for our youth to have a solid dream in their life. Well, <laughs> so much inspirational uh, incidents in, inspired with these two incidents, right? So as a Sri Lankan, Dr. Trevor, so you are keen professional with local and overseas exposure, having worked in various capacities, right? in the top level managements from the, the level that you started and different industries and business domains and international affairs. So you were invited to chair technical sessions and global webinars and to address the conferences as an international guest speaker. So just share your views and beliefs, right? And how you have get into this level as a person and recall your commitment in life experience with some lessons learned so to achieve this, these dreams. Sebastian's College, Moratua. And then after leaving school, I joined Hat National Bank as a teller at the age of 18. So I'm very proud to say that somewhere in, you know, when I was about 20 years, I having seen one of the senior officers in the bank assistant general managers, one of the assistant general managers. I had a dream to myself one day before 40 years, I will become an AGA. So, and then I started to work towards that. And so much of hard work continuously, you know, sometimes round the clock from one dimension, getting qualified, doing studies, completing banking, and then other from the other side, learning so much of, so much and gaining so much of experience, covering almost A to Z in banking and all that. And then also continuously adding knowledge because the world is so competitive. So if you want to go up in the corporate ladder, you have to have so much of knowledge. And I must tell you, Jasmine, knowledge has no boundaries. Knowledge, has no parameters. So continuously working towards that, I managed to achieve my dream at the age of 39 before 40. So that's one personal example for me. And then after that, I again continuously worked towards another dream. When I achieved that, I went to another dream, I achieved it and went to another dream, I achieved it. Now I'm working on another dream, which can be seen probably in time to come. So very interesting. So I think uh, that's that's kind of uh, attitude we should have as a Sri Lankan, especially. We are ordered to uh, inspire our young generation to take this time in this COVID situation. Take this time to think about yourself. When I wanted to uh, to have my own venture, 
to share good values and make a social change, right? The early days when I talk about this real life, some, sometimes my friends that uh, it's very difficult to convince them, right? What I wanted to uh, have with this and how I'm going to build this model. And there are many arguments, contradictions, right? But continuously, I build up this venture. Likewise, take small actions, small steps to achieve what, where, where you want to go in your lives and dreams. So how do you see the social acceptance and social rejections in life and achieving dreams? Yes, I can give you a few real life examples as well as I can give you a very good strategy for you to achieve your dreams. One is that now if you visit one of the leading temples or even one of the leading churches or cathedrals, you can see normal people visiting such worship places to tell their problems and to get the blessings. But at, but at the same time, you see some Prados and Jags and BMs and Bins as well in those places. So problems in life, shortcomings in life are so common, whether, I mean, irrespective of your position in the society. Even Steve Jobs, now the youth would, I mean, they know Steve Jobs very well, more than Abraham Lincoln. Even Steve Jobs had so many barriers. His own company was taken over by the directors, but he had the emotional intelligence and the, you know, the courage to go around and again take over his business. So irrespective of your position in the society, family status, financial position, all are having barriers. So don't take those barriers as barriers. You have to overcome them. It's a must. That's number one. And if I quote you another very good example, I'm pretty sure most of you are watching this, uh, what you call that the Discovery Channel. They have observed, they have watched the way cheetah goes towards its target. From a distance of about 500 meters, cheetah identifies a particular animal from the given herd of about 3,000, 4,000 animals. Cheetah doesn't run haphazardly or on an ad hoc basis. He will, at a, from a distance, he will identify a particular animal and slowly move towards that target, keeping a very sharp eye for about 500 meters. Sometimes cheetah waits, stays for a while, observes the environment to see whether there are any other predators. Because if they come first, the herd would be disturbed and the target will go for a six. Sometimes cheetah will change the direction, overcoming few bushes or springs or whatever. So those are barriers in life to achieve your dream. And then after a tedious journey, when the target is reachable, he will jump and get the target. Then only people know cheetah was moving towards this particular target. That should be the strategy for the youth to achieve their dream. That is so important. Barriers are so common, obstacles are so common, but definitely we have to overcome them. If you have a strong dream, if you have, a, uh, have an achievable dream, overcoming barriers, you know, no issue. You can easily overcome those barriers. <laughs> well said. And despite of any other consequences, right, or any other circumstances, you have to focus and what you wanted to do in your life. So it's all yours, your choice, your choice. But the society cannot do anything as long as you wanted to pursue your own dreams in life. So I, I just wanted to ask you this question, right? <laughs> so do you think our country, youth, has right awareness? Because you are uh, engaged with uh, youth and uh, the students at the uh, PIM already and having engaged with them with the activities. So do you think our country, the youth, have the right awareness and mindset to align their dreams in life, to achieve life goals? I don't think it's, I mean, we are still in the infancy stage of that. 
we can develop a lot in that area because i know based on my experience uh, especially after a levels most of the parents bring their kids to me trevor can you give some advice to my son to my daughter or can you just guide them they want to go abroad or they don't know what they want to do and so on so this shows this reflects that the education system doesn't facilitate that requirement career development developing a dream and also with the given culture in sri lanka most of the parents still push their kids to become a doctor and engineer and so on so that's that's one of the key weaknesses that i see in our system in our society in our culture so now if you take america if a child is focusing on you know playing a guitar or you know you know do something extraordinary parents really encourage them and after about 10 20 years they become one of the you know greatest or one of the top uh, guitarists in the world but in sri lanka that backing that support that facilitation is not there so culturally we have to change a lot and also uh, when it comes to the education system we don't have any subjects uh, for our students to improve their creativity innovation and so on but if you take some of the countries they have introduced subjects like creativity and innovation and so on from grade 8 grade 9 i'll give you a very good example in america this is there even in australia this is there so that's why if you watch channel 99 hgtv housing and uh, you know make shift or whatever the other channel you can see their creativity their thinking their innovations i mean excellent sometimes unbelievable because they are they have been trained from their youth from their you know from their teens or say from their say from the age of 15 16 17 they have been trained to think uh, in a different way and to be innovative to the core so these things really help them to conquer the world but in sri lanka it is not there so this is a huge setback so i think we are still in the infancy stage of that particular journey so we can do a lot we have to develop a lot in this aspect and that's why real life sri lanka here to support youth and our next generation in sri lanka to uh, have the right mindset and the change of their lifestyle to focus on their career and lifelong learning so there are many opportunities beyond whatever you think right so that's why we have to give this eye opening online discussions and celebrations uh, to support you to think out of the box think creatively think innovatively and become success in your life so so i just wanted to ask uh, the yeah, this thing as well so because you are in a higher education sector and people who actually coming to realize their dreams in this academic uh, sector how do you see this youth engagement and their empowerment with their education right to accept uh, challenges uh, in this creativity and innovations to uh, go to the next level of uh, global creative economy in sri lanka yes actually now they also made some kind of a shift after schooling you know studying up to grade 12 13 and then or when they start their uh, say higher education or tertiary education they make a shift uh, in their life they feel that okay they are becoming adults and they can make decisions and so on that's the time that we should uh you know get them involved get them engaged as well as give them little bit of responsibility or for them to perform well yes so i think you have a lot of experience in this uh, kind of situations because you are engaged in with many of them uh, in with your day to day activities in your uh, the professional life and so with your experience and your learnings uh share some of the recommendations and suggestions for the youth social clubs institutions as you say our institutions have also the gap of supporting them with the encouragement encouragement motivation and the empowerment so what are the recommendations and suggestions that you can uh, share to make this change of 
having a set up dreams and set up targets and goals in life towards a better future. Yeah, so I can give so much of, uh, you know, advice, guidance. One is that definitely as an individual, you have to have a dream where you want to be. That's number one. Then work towards that, whatever the circumstances, whatever the barriers in life, right? Work towards that. Sometimes you have to burn a little bit of night oil. Sometimes you have to do a job and earn and then pay for your exams, right? Still work towards your dream, right? Because I can tell you now, sometimes if your destination is Colombo Fort and when you are moving towards the all road, if the goal road is closed, you have to take a turn and go through Union Place to reach your destination fort. So sometimes, depending on the circumstances, you have to change your direction. But you keep your dream, you know, as the final destination and work towards that to achieve it. That's one aspect. Second aspect is the competition in the world is becoming stiff and fierce. Now, today, it's, if it is at this level, tomorrow it would be at this level. And we are competing in a VUCA world, uncertainty to the core, to the last letter. So, while working, while competing in this VUCA world, now there are three aspects. As an individual, you can meet only the legal requirements. Secondly, you can think about the societal aspects, which is going beyond the legal requirements. And thirdly, based on your personal ethics, your school, your the way you have been brought up, you can have your own personal ethics. So my advice is go beyond the legal requirements and go beyond the social requirements and stick to your personal ethics. Because if you have a solid foundation, right, ethical background, or your ethics, you, if you maintain ethics to the core, right, it's easy to conquer the world in the right direction and in a right way. So in order to achieve that, it's very hard because when you're honest, sometimes you have to pay uh, the price for your honesty. And it's hard to achieve something because there are no shortcuts to achieve your dreams. Those are all short-term gains, but in the long term, you might fail dramatic, dramatically. So if you stick to your ethics, right, you can achieve your dream in a hard way, and that hard journey would teach you some more lessons to further improve your life, to further expand your dream in time to come, because experience matters a lot. Then the third advice is, while gaining experience, Try to increase your knowledge because I'll give you a very good example, Jasmine. Experience is just like floating on the surface of a swimming pool. As long as you can survive, you can float. Using your experience, you can survive. But gaining knowledge, as I said, no parameters, no boundaries, you die. More you die, more you gain. So in this VUCA world, right, my message for all these uh, you know, young people or youth to gain experience as well as gain knowledge. So you know how to survive, you know how to float under difficult circumstances, as well as you know how to dive where you can explore the unexplored. That is the fourth one. And also as an individual, have expand your horizons into other dimensions, other spheres. As an example, you may be a young CEO for an IT-based company, but IT is only about 15%. So expand your horizons into a little bit of accountancy or financial aspects, little bit of management aspects, or a little bit of marketing and business development aspects, at least to cover about three, four areas. This would give them so much of you know, fuel to uh, go on a longer journey and to conquer the world. Also, the fifth message I can give is maintain four Ds. Duty, discipline, dedication, and determination. These are very, very important Ds in one's life because they may be still in their teens, 18, 19, 20, youth, 
They have a long journey to go. They are just embarking on their long journey and many decades to go. But if they can maintain four Ds continuously with ethics and integrity, they probably, they can even like, you know, I'm pretty sure they can even one day beat even McDonald's or Steve Jobs or even Bill Gates, whoever it is. Uh, Jack Welch as, the, as one of the top CEOs that the world has ever produced, whatever, to achieve their dreams in time to come. Yes, very powerful uh, uh, steps that you have shared. Thank you very much for that. And sharing these uh, recommendations and the advisors with our younger generation and the next generation in Sri Lanka to overcome the challenges, especially the most of them are now with this kind of a distressed and uh, difficult mindset and thinking confused in their career in, in the future. So this is a good message. This, this is a good uh, kind of advice for them to rethink about their life and be mindful and they are taking the right actions towards a better future. So what is your final inspiration message in very short to the youth and the people to celebrate this day? Yes, my final message is take this period, this COVID-19 period, working from home period, as a positive aspect to expand the knowledge. Use this time to look into various, you know, various types of articles. Watch few news items like CNN, BBC to improve that because I know based on my experience, Sometimes they are very good in WhatsApp and you know all these IT based social media. But if I ask the question, what is the capital of America? They don't know. Some say New York, it's Washington. What is the capital of Australia? They say Sydney, Melbourne. No, it's Canberra. So to expand their knowledge, general knowledge about world affairs, what's happening, and all these things, use this period productively to get into those areas and to expand their knowledge. As I said earlier, knowledge has no boundaries into our day. So this is my message. Take this as a positive aspect, positive step to expand their horizons into unknown areas. Today we celebrated World Dream Day 2021. It's your choice, your steps to take actions, steps to reach your life, goals, career goals, and realize your dreams. So thank you very much for your commitment and your valuable time to share these uh, messages and advices, recommendations with us in Real Life TV. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Jasmine, once again for inviting me uh, for this program and uh, I wish you all the best and, you know, uh, wish you good health as well. And I will end up this uh, with a very powerful thought with one of my favorite uh, inspirational speaker. Never laugh at anyone's dream. People who don't have dreams don't have much. Don Robbins, famous life coach and inspirational speaker. So it doesn't cost any rupees or anything to share this valuable content, the discussion in your online platform. So just click and wish everyone a good luck and dreams to come through and share this valuable content to change someone's life, someone's dreams, to achieve and become success. We wish all of you good luck and we wish everyone's dreams, good dreams come true. We will be back again with another discussion. Until then, stay safe, stay blessed. Thank you.